hello! Oh my word, you guys! Welcome to Spilling a Tea with Susie. I'm Susie, and this is Emma. Hello, Emma. How are you hello. doing? Good, how are you? I'm good. I'm so glad to have you on my show. And for those of you who are wondering why I just jumped right in this time, it's because I didn't want what happened with me and Kalina to happen again. So here we are. We are here. We are live. Welcome, everyone. I see we have some friends in the chat. It's good to see you guys. I hope that everyone got their coloring pages ready because we have the coloring page queen with us tonight. <laughs> <laughs> oh, love the view behind you, Emma. Oh, yeah, that is really pretty. Thank you. I thought it seemed appropriate. <laughs> it does. It really kind of gives me Shadow at the Water's Edge vibes. So <laughs> mm -hmm. I love that. Part of why I got it. <laughs> <laughs> it's really pretty. I see you have some Nancy Drew uh, books back there as well. Yep, mm -hmm. I do. Yeah, I got those when I was like probably 10 or 11. <laughs> that Just never get That's rid of books <laughs> wait is that the series of unfortunate events back there too uh probably i know i have them yeah <laughs> i can recognize those anywhere they are also over there so oh yeah i see you <laughs> <It's so cool. laughs> the best oh my word okay so um you'll be coloring later but you love the new speaker pages i know they're so good when i saw those i was like <laughs> just wow just wow also no. thank you tori for saying i look snazzy i am i am kim possible so <laughs> it's halloween <laughs> all right are you ready for some questions yeah let's do it i'm super excited also i found out mm -hmm. i made my tea in one of my pantone mugs because i love pantone but turns out I knew that there were some chips in it, but it turns out there's like a crack all the way around here and it is just slowly seeping out onto my desk. So <laughs> we're literally spilling tea tonight. <laughs> <laughs> that's perfect. And I'm sorry if it does spill too much. Like if you need to go clean it up, that's fine. <laughs> no, it's fine. I have a tissue box here cause I'm sick. So I'm just using the tissue to like mop it up. <laughs> <laughs> You've been meaning to rewatch Kim Possible. Well, it is a quality watch. So I highly recommend. All right, so let's see what questions I have for Miss Emma. Let's <laughs> see. I'm so excited. I've been so excited to interview you. Like, you have no idea. <laughs> I've been so excited too. It's been like, what, two or three months or something. And I've Probably. been like, <gasps> <laughs> I know. Can you imagine what the people feel like who are scheduled out to April? <laughs> oh my word! So you're gonna do it next year then? I am. Oh yeah. good. I wasn't That's sure, awesome. but I asked a bunch of people, and I was like, "All right, let's do season two. So it's happening. And yeah, I I feel so bad because a lot of people are like, "Oh my gosh, yes, I'd love to do an episode with you," and I'm like, "Okay." Can I pencil you in for um, April the 25th? And they're like, oh. <laughs> Sorry. I'm trying to do one of these per week. <laughs> uh, but it's great. It's great. Every Everybody is so kind. And I'm so excited to chat with everybody. So, yeah. Thank All right. You. So your first question is um, everybody pretty much wanted to do the same question of what inspired you to start this journey of like making coloring pages? Mm. Well, I think it happened kind of like it did for a lot of people, the pandemic. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah, we spent a lot of time at home and I was in France at the time, so it was really weird, but <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, so I don't know why I hadn't done this before, but for some reason, maybe I was like following the Facebook page or something, mm -hmm. but I was like, I want to do some kind of fan art. And I think I had like three markers at the time. <laughs> <laughs> so I was like, this is going to be a line drawing. <laughs> I mean, starting small. <laughs> yep. 
And it had three colors, I think two or three colors. Nice. And so I like kind of posted it to the account. You know, like, I don't know if they still do it, but they would like share if fans would submit fan mail or not fan mail. Um, Yeah, fan art. Yeah. And so I did and they posted it. And in the comments, someone was like, oh, this looks like a coloring page. I color this. And I was like, hmm. <laughs> That's so cool. Yeah. So, so which then, page was that? It was the Ryokan. Oh, wow. The, mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, so you've gone full circle. You just you started and then and then you did one for tonight. Oh, that's so cool. Oh, that's perfect. I hadn't thought of that. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. Yeah, so I like started doing them slowly and then I kind of like I think I did maybe six or seven maybe. And then I kind of stopped for a while, but then I think when I discovered that Instagram was a great place for artists, I was like, okay, I'll try it here. And then like, I just got so excited about it. And I've just been like making more and more because it's so fun and I really enjoy it. And they keep getting better and better. Like that monolith (laughs) that you made, like not only is it a coloring craft, but like it's a, it's a piece of art. Like, (laughs) (laughs) thank you. Yeah. Oh my gosh. It took a long time. (laughs) We got a lot of questions about stuff like that too. Like, um, like, do you have other plans for stuff like that? And you know, like all kinds of questions like that. Like, um, wait, do I have, where was that question? Well, we'll get to it eventually, but there was one question that was like, um, they loved it. And they were like, do you plan on doing other, like more stuff like that? <laughs> I have bigger things in mind too. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, so I need to calm down (laughs) because I need to go back to just regular pages. Oh my gosh. But yeah, right now I have one that's just like a normal coloring page. And then I have like a massive project I want to do eventually Okay. that sounds really cool, but I don't know if it'll work. I hope it does, but it will be a long project if it does. Oh man. Well... Mm -hmm. (laughs) <laughs> we'll be really excited to see it when it happens, I'm sure. Yeah, I'm I'm really excited about it. I think I told one person and I was like, they seemed excited, so I was like, okay. Okay. Maybe it'll happen. I think it should. <laughs> All right. Well we'll just like keep that in the back of our minds and watch your page and see what happens in the future um yeah. that was actually one of the next questions was do you have any special projects in the works so <laughs> Sweet. yes yeah. <laughs> sounds like it oh my word so which game do you think has the best art oh that's such a good question I'm wondering what that means, like art pieces on the walls, or would we say like it's just aesthetically the most beautiful as far as the environment goes? I mean, I was thinking environment, but answer both. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, Okay, so I paid attention when other people said have a list of the games in front of you, so I have a list. (laughs) Um, I think maybe Castle Malloy for me. Oh, but then there's Thornton Hall. Like, just the atmospheres. They're both creepy, too. There you go. Um, You like ones, huh? (laughs) I do, yeah. (laughs) I love that. Oh, my gosh. Tori says, bravo, gold star for you, Emma. (laughs) That's so good. So... What about like, like actual art in the game? Since you brought it up, is there a game that has like, like actual art that they put into the game that you like? I can only really think of um, Captive Curse having a lot of art. Mm. That one does have a lot of art and a lot of really beautiful art. 
You know what? I might go with Danger on Deception Island because of Caddy. Oh, yes. <laughs> oh, I love Caddy. So cute. <laughs> I love Caddy. That's so great. Mm -hmm. Oh, I love that one. I love, um, there's, like, some artwork in Last Train of Blue Moon Canyon that I love. Yeah. And actually, the the one that I'm thinking of specifically was the one that um, Hugh Miller just saw at a museum and was like, oh my gosh, that's the painting from Last Train. And I was like, I love that one. It's so pretty. Yeah. Um, but yeah, there's so many there's so many great pieces in these games. You know, I also thought of Treasure in a Royal Tower. Ooh, yes. Because when I did that coloring page, I found out that at least one, maybe two of them actually are paintings. Mm -hmm. And it was so, I love it when that happens, when I'm just looking for source photos and I find like the real thing and it's like, oh, oh. that's so cool. That must make it so much easier on you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's so great. So, your next question is, we would like to know more about you because, I mean, like, pretty much all that we ever find out about you is, like, about your coloring pages and, like, how just really freaking talented you are. So, I got some questions about, like, tell us about your family. Do you have any kids? Like, what, like, you know, where are you from? That type of stuff. So why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself and whatever you're yeah. comfortable with sharing? Sure. Yeah. Um, I don't have any kids, but I have an amazing husband oh. who might show up at some point and say oh, hi. Good. Good. And I've collaborated with him and I think I should in the future again, quite yeah. a lot. <laughs> I love that. Um, yeah, I have three nieces who are like my testers. That's they awesome. love to color. So I'm like, here, oh. try this out. Does it work? Can kids That's do this? So <laughs> oh, I love you have testers. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's so but they're cute. just so happy with it. So I'm like, okay. <laughs> oh, I love that. Oh, that's so mm -hmm. cute. Oh my gosh. So where are yeah. you from? Well, originally from LA. So I'm like, I'm okay because I live in a really beautiful place with seasons now. So I'm oh, like, really? yeah, LA is great for visiting, but I don't really like living there. So I'm kind of like, it's okay. I'm glad to have seasons again. <laughs> yeah, seasons are good. So you mentioned being in France for mm -hmm. the pandemic. So tell us a little bit about that because I that immediately like piqued my interest. What were you doing in France? <laughs> yeah. So my husband was working there, like his company transferred him. Wow. And so I went there to, to stay with him because we were long distance for like a year. Mm. And I think after that, I was like, that's enough. <laughs> I'm yeah. just going to come see you and stay. Yeah. Um, and it was like the one of the bigger decisions I've made because it was like quitting my job, going to a foreign country. Yeah. I don't know the language very well. Um, yeah. So, yeah, I was there. We Well, I moved there officially in October of 2019. Okay. And then in France, the pandemic really started in February of 2020. Oh, okay. Gotcha. So there were, <laughs> there were a little bit there were like yeah, a like few a months before us. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. So how long were you in France? two and a half years i think okay. so most of the pandemic <laughs> pretty much yeah wow. yeah as soon as we could like because the vaccine rollout was really slow there mm. so as soon as we could get the vaccines and travel like that was sort of when we started thinking about moving back yeah because it took a while yeah oh man that's so crazy so did you learn french pretty well so that's the weird thing. I did not because we were at home all the time. Like we, that they were sense. really strict. Yeah. <laughs> I took lessons, like kind of video lessons and I yeah. tried, but it, you really have to like get out and talk to people regularly. Yeah, yeah um, I can imagine. Yeah, that's so crazy. But like, it totally makes sense. Like if you're not 
going out, like, you may as well be living anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> That's so funny, though. Did you but get, it was really... Mm -hmm. um, did you get, like, really big, like, danger by design vibes while you were there? Yes. <laughs> oh, that was so cool. I don't know who all has been there, but if you Not. get the chance to go... It's so crazy. It's like you're walking into the game. Like, Aww. honestly, it's so cool. <laughs> Did you ever go to Pont Neuf? Yeah, yeah. The okay. coloring page I made was like a merge between real life and the game. And it oh, was like all that. photos. Mm -hmm. I remember that. Oh, that was so cool. Oh, I loved that one. Oh, that. Okay. Yes. Sorry. Go on. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so that was like, I went there one day just to get source photos, like, so I could figure out how to do it, how to merge the two. Mm. So yeah, and I remember the first time I went there, I was like, holy cow, this is exactly the same. Like, they got it so right. It's oh, perfect. I like, love that. Game, everything. That is so fun. Oh, man. So if you could... Like, would you live in another country again? Or are you happy, like, where you are? I'm happy where I am. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Yeah, I missed my family too much. Yeah. Like, it was tough. So when we were able to come back here, I was like, uh, <laughs> I'm settling here. Yeah. <laughs> I'm good. Makes sense. I love that. Aw. So, um, do you make coloring pages for anything besides Nancy Drew? I do. I haven't done as many, but right now is one of them. Um, and that's actually a collaboration with one of my friends. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, so that, cool. yeah, that should be out in the next couple weeks, I hope. Okay. I think. Well, we'll look forward to seeing what that is. That's really yeah. neat. Yeah, and it's got the spooky vibes, of course. Oh, perfect. <laughs> oh, I love that. Oh, good. It'll be out just in time then. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I need to do more things, though. Like, I've done a Lord of the Rings page. I did one of the Haunted Mansion, like, at Disneyland. <laughs> That's cool. That was fun. But, yeah, I need to do more. Yeah, I mean, we'll color anything, so... <laughs> <laughs> just have at it hmm. so what's the most challenging part of turning Nancy Drew game art into coloring pages mm, I think when I have okay so for example <laughs> I think it was the haunted carousel one I did the I did a drawing of the carousel um, but to get the whole thing, I had to take like several shots from different angles. Oh yeah. And um, cause if you do the full, like the screenshot where you can see the whole thing, it's really blurry. Yeah. <laughs> Understandably so, but yeah. it's really hard to get, it's really hard to get those little details. Yeah. So that one I left out because there is a real carousel and so I just found pictures of the real carousel that's almost exactly the same yeah the one in new jersey i think so i don't remember where i feel like but... that park is based on a i mean i don't know if this is confirmed but there's a there's an amusement park in new jersey which is where the game is based that is like identical so um like it's got i mean it's not like identical but like it's really close and there's the carousel and i wondered if that was like their source material i don't know makes sense the world yeah never know. <laughs> yeah i don't know <laughs> i don't know but that makes sense that's that so like when you take all the different angles and then i guess you have to like imagine how it's put together yeah mm -hmm. That's fun. Good luck. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I take some creative liberties here and there. Because sometimes you don't know what's behind this object and you just have to kind of come up with something. And that's yeah. kind of fun, though. Yeah, that is fun. And it really shows how, like, talented you are because they always look amazing. So yeah. <laughs> I love Thanks. that. So... Um... Which character 
in the Nancy Drew games would you want to sit down with for a chill coloring session? Aww. <laughs> <laughs> I love that question. <laughs> oh my word. Who would be good for that? I'm looking through the list because <laughs> I can't think of anyone off the top of my head. You know, that's why everybody always says that they like wished they had the list because like you get on stream and suddenly there like there's nothing in your brain anymore and you're just like what are these games what am i talking about <laughs> who are all the characters <laughs> yeah oh i don't know i mean i feel like someone who's really chill of course but i'm trying to think of who would be good for that <laughs> Out of Charlotte, that could be interesting. <laughs> oh, sit and chill with a ghost, yeah. Yeah, maybe before. <laughs> like when she was a little kid or something. That oh, could that be would cute. Fun. Yeah. Oh, Maggie <laughs> says Poppy Dada. <laughs> oh, yeah. No, she wouldn't color in the lines. <laughs> She'd like go onto the wall and start pasting cookies on it. And <laughs> Literally, yeah. Oh, goodness. Um, Charlotte's a good answer, though. <laughs> so, here's an interesting question for you. If you could put any Nancy Drew character into a different game, who and which game? Oh, my word. That's I know, that's so a hard, hard one. I know. They really, mm. they really came for you with these questions. <laughs> <laughs> they did. Hmm. I mean could be fun to take someone from one like from very different places and see how they kind of interact with it that would be cool like put pa in i don't know italy or <laughs> something like that just oh, see what they would do oh it wouldn't could, be a good fit <laughs> he, could, he could make the meme true where he goes and dances in the there we go <laughs> <laughs> when, we said, when you said putting Pa into another location, my immediate thought was putting him in like Hawaii or <laughs> like Dread <laughs> Isle. <laughs> that, that works would be too. great. <laughs> Tori says, Ha, transplanting Pa anywhere would be amazing. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yes, let's just put Pa into every game. These are now the Pa Ox games. <laughs> oh my word. Um, so which game do you think needs more work? More work. Hmm. The Shattered Medallion. <laughs> yeah. That's a, I feel like that's a popular answer. <laughs> yeah, I really tried to understand it. Yeah. I just kept getting lost. I was like, what is even happening right now? I know we were on a game show and now I, yeah. just, I had no idea what was happening. <laughs> I know. It's kind of rough. I like, I love that game. I really, really do. But sometimes it's kind of rough. <laughs> it's a great idea. I really like the setting. I mean, I was so excited. It's in New Zealand and I was like, oh my gosh. And then the game show, like, that's cool, too. I know, I love but, that. Yeah. Yeah. And I actually really like some of the, like, the, um, I don't know what it's called. There's, like, a, a building. I think it's, like, a cube or something or a few cubes. The, and you the go game in, like, buildings? Yeah. Yeah. I really like that building. Like, some of the settings are really great. Yeah. But the story was hard to follow. <laughs> Daniela says that game made me so confused. I was so sad, especially since Sunny was in the game. I agree, but I still love Sunny. My heart <laughs> still belongs to Sunny, even though the game could have used a little more work. <laughs> <laughs> it's so chill, but the plot is so messy, lol. Yes, it is. It is. And like you get to the end and you're like, wait, why are you the bad guy? Why are you mad at me? <laughs> It's so crazy. Yeah. But I love it anyway. It's still a Nancy Drew game. <laughs> um, would you ever consider making a coloring book? I have. 
and I probably should add the new ones to it. <laughs> Ooh, yeah, it's, I would love. It's that. like a digital one, so yeah. it's not a book book, but mm -hmm. still, yeah, it's kind still of good. <laughs> still good. Um, for for anybody who doesn't know, you can get like things printed at Staples really, really easily and cheaply and quickly, and um, then you can like not have to like if you don't have a printer, just like Staples for like twenty cents, and then you have a coloring book and you can just staple it together. Da da. <laughs> yeah. So I do that a lot. I send all my stuff to, I mean, like, I, I have an Etsy shop, so I print stuff at home, but, like, anything that, like, I, like, as a digital thing that I buy, I usually send it to Staples, because then I don't waste my ink for my Etsy shop, <laughs> and then it's really nice, and then I can just color it, you know, <laughs> and I do all the stuff, so that's, that's what I like to do, so I agree, um, digital stuff is fine, it's fun, rather, Another and, thing. Uh, yeah. What? Another thing I discovered, I don't think it's for all of them, but I know some libraries you can print for free. Yes, that's I've true. I've done that. Mine if you have. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, mine is not but free. Staples but Staples is like really good quality, like thick paper and beautiful. Yes, yeah. Actually, the stuff that was in my um, Blackmore Manor subscription box this month you guys was printed at staples so <laughs> yeah but anyway so yeah i remember your first coloring book i remember getting that in my inbox and i have not printed it yet and i want to so i'm probably gonna send that to staples tomorrow <laughs> <laughs> let's see what's your next question oh um what's your favorite nancy drew game oh that's so hard but I think maybe Danger on Deception Island. That's a like, good one. When I think of just cozy Nancy Drew vibes, I'm like, that's where I want to go. Yeah. <laughs> Sounds so nice. I have a follow-up question because you answered Danger on Deception Island. Um, I want to know, what season do you think that game takes place in? Oh. I always think it's fall. Yeah, right? Because, like, that mm. is such a fall game, in my opinion. But there is some dispute about that. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. You love DDI. You also love DDI. Everyone's saying in the chat, I love DDI. <laughs> <laughs> it's such a great a game. game. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But, yeah, I think it's a fall game. Like, it just makes sense. Everybody's dressed for, like, cold weather. And, um, what's his name? Holtz is running for office, which is a thing that happens in the fall. So, like, there you go. Makes sense. There you go. <laughs> We've got to find a calendar, lol. So that's the thing, is I'm actually going to make a video about this soon, Maggie. Um, I've, I've done some research <laughs> let's just check it. let's just, just put it at that i've done some research and i figured out exactly when or whereabouts when each game takes place and um i'm gonna make a video on like the timeline explained and i'm fairly certain that that actually is a fall game so I'm fairly certain, but we'll, you know, I'll make a video about it and you can, you guys can, um, like, disagree with me if you want to, but that is my opinion, so. <laughs> but Emma agrees. Mm hmm It feels like spring, or it feels like March. Interesting! I don't know how you guys are getting that. I truly don't. Alright, you know what I think it's time for? <laughs> I, think it's time. I think I do. For some FMK. All right. So we have this gigantic wheel of 191 characters, face characters, and phone characters, and obscure characters. So let's get you some characters. <laughs> All right. I'm so excited. This wheel has not been kind to people lately, so. <laughs> All right. So first off, 
butt is that Bruno Bolle. Okay. Yes, I did not. Uh, I I was not discerning. I even put deceased characters. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Following the old man trend, Denal Delaney. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's so good. Re redeeming FMK? Oh, so we'll do a second one too, that's fine. <laughs> and a third old man, Bill Kessler. <laughs> <laughs> good one. Uh, uh, well, <laughs> I'm gonna probably need help remembering like what the characters were, but I know Bruno sure. was one. Bruno, that would probably Bill hmm? and Denal. Denal, okay. Hmm. Yeah. Maybe marry Bruno because I feel like that would be an interesting life. <laughs> Very quirky. You have, you have spooky life. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um. I wouldn't. I wouldn't want to. Fight him, but it would be easy to fight Denal, probably. <laughs> <laughs> I think you can take Denal. <laughs> yeah. I don't really want to. <laughs> <laughs> so I think I'll fight Bill and yeah. uh, kiss Denal. <laughs> <laughs> he's just he's too endearing. I couldn't. <laughs> I know. He's a sweet old man. Tori says, I hope you like exotic pets. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my gosh, I lost her! Oh no! She's gone! Bad things have happened. Oh shoot. Okay, I'm gonna get her back. Let me hang on. Hang on, y'all. I was so afraid that something like this would happen after the disaster that was last week. Ah, oh, there she is. Okay. Ooh. Hi! <laughs> you disappeared! <laughs> I know! I'm oh. sneaky like that. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, so now we have to do another round of FMK because it got uh, redeemed. So. Alright. Let's see if we continue on the old man charm. <laughs> oh, Joe Hardy! Man, this wheel is treating you really well. So far. <laughs> okay, let's see who else. See? Oh, Red Knot. Okay, well, there's that old man. <laughs> God, I knew Tori would be excited that Joe showed up. Alright, who else we got? <laughs> okay, Dear to Shannon. Hmm. Alright. Joe and Red Knot and Deirdre. <laughs> Mary Jo, probably, because that would just be too fun. Oh, yeah. You <laughs> couldn't marry the other two. <laughs> no. I would have judged you so hard if you married any of the other two. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's all about what would the long term be like, and no. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Probably kiss Deirdre on the head. <laughs> <laughs> and yep fight oh, oh what no. was his name i forget red oh, red fight yeah. red so yep. yeah listen i am really tired of hearing about joe and deirdre so you guys need to stop <laughs> uh, not in my nice nancy drew chat <laughs> kiss deirdre platonically yeah that's right Nobody wants to marry her. All right. Let's have some more questions. So we need to know how you found out about the Nancy Drew games and, like, what your introduction to the Clue Crew was. I loved hearing this from other people, too. Oh, it's such a great question. I know. So I think I was, like, 11 or 12. And I think I was at like Best Buy or somewhere like that. And I saw the Haunted Mansion game. And I was like, I like Haunted Mansions. That sounds cool. And I was, I had read Nancy Drew. Oh, yeah. Um, 
books. So I was like, you know, begging the parents for it. <laughs> oh, I love that. Yeah. So, so Haunted Mansion was your first game. Mm -hmm. Oh, I love that. So that's why you love spooky things. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. But the thing about it is, so I, my best friend, like we, and we've played the games together since then, like for all these years. Mm -hmm. And so I had her come over and we played it together and like, it was great. And then we got to the end and I was so scared. Like, I was so stressed out. I'm like, can you please play this part? I just can't. I'm too stressed out. <laughs> oh. So, not to interrupt, but there's a really interesting comment in the chat. Sorry. Um, so, Maggie did some research on her own. She says, so if Danger and Deception Island takes place in 2003, the year it came out, big if with these games, lol. It was either January or October because there was a meeting on Thursday the 16th. And yes, that's correct, Maggie. So it has to be Thursday, October the 16th. Because if uh, Holtz is campaigning, he would be doing so in October. Like, I mean, it just makes sense. <laughs> Everybody's campaigning right now, everywhere. So, like that's that's just that's just how it is. Yes, Tori agrees. Yes. Oh, what image was your first game too? Oh, yes, it's a good one. Mine was um, Charles and Roll Tower, but Hot Image was my second game. Hmm. Especially if Harbor Master elections are in November, like other kinds of elections are, and I believe that they are. So. Yeah, because it's just like it's just like county council or anything like that, you know. Yeah. So yeah, that see, is so sense. smart. <laughs> there we go. Yes. So. Wow. I can look forward to a video about this at some point. I just have been sick and not making videos, so <laughs> it could be a special election, but most likely in the fall. Yeah, that's that's what I'm thinking. Mm -hmm. Get major fall vibes. Alrighty. Also, like the soup. Yeah, the soup, the muffins, the oh. muffins, <laughs> guys, the soup and the muffins. <laughs> <laughs> so good, so good. Oh, <laughs> I'm sorry. I have to keep drinking because, like, I'm still a little like my voice still wants to not work. So, <clears throat> so. What process do you use to make your coloring pages? Like, do you tracing or computer programs or like, what do you do? Mm -hmm. So first I do a sketch and it's kind of evolved over the years. There's <laughs> Mr. Colorable Art. <laughs> <laughs> we'll call him Mr. Color. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Color. <laughs> Yeah, so usually I, well, since the beginning, I've started with a sketch, like just a freehand sketch. I usually have like my phone or something with the source images and mm -hmm. just make a sketch. Um, and I used to like do pen over the sketch and make it like really clean yeah. and then um, take a picture of that and then kind of like edit it. Mm -hmm. But more recently, I've been like just doing the sketch, taking a picture, and then tracing over the sketch in the computer because it's yeah. just faster. Yeah. And I used to like Whoa. do pen. Goodness. I went <laughs> to check on my baby in that app, and my video started playing. So, <laughs> oh, good. <You> sleep. <laughs> well, Aww. that's really cool. I love, I love hearing about people's processes. It's so interesting. Yeah. Yeah, it's really fun. I think it's so satisfying to like outline everything because it's like kind of messy, not really that messy, but a little bit. And then you're just like making it pretty and yeah. <laughs> oh, I love it's really that. satisfying. It is. Yeah. Also, there's like nothing more satisfying than having like, like a coloring page with like little spots to color and like yours are really intricate. So like, oh, that is the most satisfying thing to me. Just like, 
just like the little bits of color. <laughs> yeah, that's that that's just me though, but I love that. Oh, that's really cool. So yeah. what's your favorite non-Nancy Drew thing to or like theme? Theme or thing to draw for fun? <sighs> That is a good question because there hasn't been any one specific thing. I've kind of bounced around a little bit. Yeah. I feel like cartoons are easier. Yeah. For <laughs> but, sure. you know, actually, I could say like probably interiors. Ooh, like, inside. Yeah. Nature is complicated. <laughs> It's so it hard is. sometimes. <laughs> it is. It's it's really hard. Like as an artist, I I understand. <laughs> I prefer to like people because people are easy. Like nature is hard. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> people are hard for me, but like I don't know, like objects in a room like a bookcase or mm. something like that. Yeah, you have the perspective to think about, but it just feels so much easier than like putting leaves on a tree and trying to figure out how to make a bush work. Come on. No, I'm so with you, but like I'm also really bad at perspective. So, um like that that's why I end up always preferring people. Oh, here's Salem by the way, everyone. Hello. Hello. <laughs> oh, he's such a good boy. <laughs> Did you name him after Sabrina? I did. <gasps> I've been watching the old show lately. It's so oh, amazing. My favorite, the show from the 90s? <sighs> yeah. That's my comfort show. Like, yep. I, I have to watch it every year. At least the first three seasons. Like, the, the, just the that was the best ever for me. No. So, oh, yes. I, I always said if I got a black cat, I would name it Salem. And my, uh, in my local, my like city's locals page on Facebook, somebody was like, Hey, found this black cat next to our trash can. Anybody want him? And I was like, me <laughs> went to a Salvation Army parking lot, paid this person a $5 bill and went home with a cat. <laughs> wow. But was it just like a kitten, an extra kitten that someone like, how did have, that happen? <laughs> I have no idea. He was so friendly. So I'm, and he was like six months. Like he was like a, like a decent sized kitten. You know, he was like really skinny, but like a decently sized, like older kitty, like maybe six or seven months. So, um, I'm assuming that he either was owned and got out or like was at least around people like maybe he lived in somebody's yard maybe like they were fed and he just left i don't know um they thought that maybe he got dropped off somewhere like i don't know but he's so friendly so i can't imagine he had been a complete stray so um yeah he just showed up in their backyard and they kept him for a little while and they were like well we need to find you a home like they had cats already you know so mm -hmm. it's like i'll take him i want a black cat so i named him salem and now i have my Aww. my salem saber higgin <laughs> that's so perfect that's yeah. so nice <laughs> maggie says we love salem yes we do <laughs> salem is a good boy unless he's not because <laughs> sometimes he's not <laughs> It's kind uh, of lucky he was a boy, too. If it had been a girl, would you still have named her Salem? I wonder if I'd have named her Sabrina. Oh, <laughs> I feel like that would have worked. Yeah. Yeah. But it was funny, though, because um, when they gave him to us, they said, oh, we just called him Binks, like, for the time being while he was with us. And I was like, okay, that's great. But I'm going to name him after another 90s black cat. <laughs> so, yeah, it's better. Aww. Salem's better than Binks. Your black cat is a tuxedo cat. He gets up to mischief. Oh, well, he would get along with my black cat then because he gets up to some major mischief. <laughs> oh, goodness. I love cats. Do you have any pets? I don't. I used to have a cat. Like, I had a cat for 17 years, though. 
Oh, wow. And she was, she was my baby. <laughs> that is a good long time to have a cat. Mm-hmm. That's really lucky. Yeah. I don't right now, but yeah. maybe someday. Yeah. You know, I, the thing with cats is they just fall into your lap. You know? Mm-hmm. Like, you kind of don't choose cats. They choose you. So, yep. if, if you're meant to have a cat, I'm sure one will show up at your doorstep. <laughs> You'll Definitely. find one in the trash. <laughs> 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 or, like my other cat, find him on the side of the road underneath some plastic. <laughs> well, I didn't find him. The person who rescued him did. And then I rescued him from the cults that those people were in. <laughs> so that was, uh, that was good. Yes, the cat distribution system. And yes, Daniela, we were literally just talking about this last night. Me and Daniela and Jordan were all talking about, or at least, um, at least some of us were. I forget if both of the twins were there at the time. But we were talking about the cat distribution system, basically, and how cats choose you. And it's so great. Oh, you chose your cats, Maggie? Oh, well, you're, you're probably singularly special in this. <laughs> I love it. Yes, yes. Okay, so that was a really long tangent. I am so sorry. Let's go to your next question. <laughs> um, what's your favorite piece of art that you've done so far? Hmm. Wow. Um, I favorite or that I'm most proud of? <laughs> Are those different answers? Yes. Oh, the monolith is the most proud, yeah, because <laughs> that took so long. Um, I can imagine. How long did that take you, anyway? It was, like, four months, I think. I would have guessed that, yeah. <laughs> that looks like it's so much work. Yeah. I think um, <coughs> it's going to be either the carousel or Castle Malloy, like mm-hmm. the little entrance. Yeah. I just really like both of those. Yeah, those are really good. Oh, you love the monolith? That's amazing. No. So thank one of you. Maggie's cats came from a shelter. She was around five, and then your sister's cat had kittens, and he chose one of those so he wouldn't go to a shelter. Oh, that's really nice. Oh, I'm glad. It's always mm-hmm. good to get pets from shelters. Absolutely. So yeah. yes. All right. Um, and then what Nancy Drew game is your aesthetic? My aesthetic? Okay, so I've been curious about this because I've heard it on a lot of your other interviews. Yes. So is it like the way that you dress or is it like the environment you thrive in? I think it could be anything. I think it could okay. really be anything. It could be what you feel the most at home in it could be like your vibe for decorating it could be anything i feel like whatever whatever it feels whatever feels right to you (laughs) that's a good way to think about it so probably danger on deception islands yeah yeah just so cozy it is i know Oh, hello, Hugh. We've just been talking about how Danger on Deception Island definitely takes place in October. (laughs) Much to the chagrin of many people, I'm sure. (laughs) Um, Yeah, so that's a a great aesthetic to have, though. You've got Caddy. You've got Mm -hmm. Clam Chowder. That's what I (laughs) mean. Seriously. Yeah. (laughs) And it's so, like, I actually like kind of gloomy days mm-hmm. and fog and like yeah. clouds I don't know I just like that aesthetic oh, a lot more it's perfect yes I see I see yeah yeah I know we've talked about that before Hugh but um it's uh you're on the wrong side of the season argument for once yes I know I, I I'm going to convince you Maggie I'm telling you, it's true. All right, what's the next one? Oh, this is my favorite question. This is my my new favorite question that everybody has been getting. You're on a road trip with Emily Crandall, Malachi Craven, 
And Patrick Dowsett. Who has the ox? Who is Patrick? Oh, is he oh, in Shattered Medallion? Medallion? Mm -hmm. Okay. The guy who sits and on who's... that big old rock. Yeah. And who is the first one again? Oh, um, Emily Crandall from Secret of the Old Clock. Oh my word. Mm -hmm. Maybe Emily? Yeah. 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 <laughs> It's funny because there's music from Secret of the Old Clock playing right now. <laughs> oh, that's perfect. That's great. You know, she did have, like, the record player, I think, yeah. in her room, right? She's so she should know. Yeah, she's probably a very trustworthy music person. <laughs> mm -hmm. So, um, so of your other options of Malachi Craven and Patrick Dowsett, who do you think would be the snack distributor? Probably Patrick. He's got crackers. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So that leaves Malachi Craven as the person who's holding your map. <laughs> oh, I don't really remember much about him. That's why I'm like, I don't he know what we do. <laughs> Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, he growls. Yeah, that's okay. He, he growls and he yells. So if he's the one holding your map, you're never going to miss a turn. But if you do, watch out. <laughs> yep, that's true. Yep. <laughs> Lordy. <laughs> Patrick gotta be for snacks. Yes, he does, because he carries the crackers. Oh, no. Craven will distribute the snacks by throwing them when he gets mad at nearby cars. <laughs> No, no map for Craven, he'll be screaming directions. You know what? That's kind of fun sometimes. <laughs> oh my gosh, I love this question, though. I love that that's been the new thing that everybody's getting, getting asked. He's the aggressive backseat driver. Well, he's an aggressive anything, so that just counts. Um, okay, so what Nancy Drew book do you want to see made into a game? Oh gosh, I actually don't really remember them that well. I have them, I just yeah. don't remember. Um, yeah, I don't feel like I have a good answer for that because I just fine. don't remember. They've all been so good though. I know. I'm trying I... to remember. Like, oh, wasn't the first one like something about stairs? Oh, the hidden staircase? <sighs> yeah. Yeah, that one was made into a movie, or actually, I haven't actually seen it, but I know that there's a movie called The Hidden Staircase, so it would be cool to get a game, too. I don't remember the plot, but it's the first one, so I feel like or it the second should. second one, I think? Second one? Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. I think Secret of the Little Clock is the first one. Oh, well, there you go. <laughs> yeah, which was made into a game, so yeah, mm -hmm. that would be, it would be really cool to see. Um, I'm sure everybody has heard my answer for this, but I actually think that the game, no, the book where Nancy first meets Ned would be a cool game, where you could, like, go back in time, and, like, Nancy would be, like, ruining her relationship here in the, fe in the, in the present, and then she could be like, man, I'm sure you're wondering how I got into this situation, and then, like, and then we see how they met, and then she, like, has to fix her relationship, so, that's my... That's my, my, my plot line, so if anybody from Her Interactive is watching, <clears throat> please make that happen. <laughs> you think Clock was made with the first four books in mind, but you could be wrong? So I felt like Clock was... Secret of the Clock, obviously, but and um, The Lilac Inn. And... I'm not sure if there were any others... Password to Larkspur Lane would be fun. You know, I don't think I've actually read that one. It's action-packed. That sounds great. I remember on the cover of one, there was like an organ, and I think it had to do with a ghost or something like know. that. I'd be all for an organ, like having an organ in the game. So whatever that story is. <laughs> yeah, that would be cool. So what elements from the other two games we're in the passageway connecting the houses is the hidden staircase thing. Yeah, that makes sense. I guess there's a staircase there. But what's the, um, what's from the third game? The, 
what was that, the hidden bungalow? Right? Just make make it make sense. Help me help me make it make sense. <laughs> anyway, we'll move on to our next question. Um, which game do you think would be a good movie or TV show? Hmm. Or TV show? <gasps> hmm. <laughs> That's a great question. Oh, I the way the culprit is handled is similar to the third book. Okay. Thank you for answering. That's great. Okay. Anyway, so movie or TV show? Oh, my word. I definitely think a creepy one. I'm just, like, all about the spooky vibes today. Yeah? But I'm between, you know, oh, <laughs> it's so hard. I know. I was... I was thinking of Thornton Hall because there's probably a lot more to that history that could be explored over like a season of a oh, show. Yeah. Oh yeah, there's a lot hiding in there. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, that's a good one probably. I was also thinking of the haunted carousel, but I just I like the fact that it's a haunted can carousel. But yeah, that one's so fun. That's the next one that I'm streaming. Ooh. And I will have a very special guest streaming with me. So, you guys will have to see it. <laughs> Hugh says, from my memory, Clock was based off of ND Books 1, 2, and 4. And then Little Miss Drew says, yes, Bungalow Mystery has Jim Archer, I believe. Oh! It has been so long since I've read these books that I just literally can't remember. And Tori's answer to that question is fresh off Hugh's stream. Give me Spy as a movie so I can get to see the moment Ned breaks into the house and gets caught. Yes, please. So good. <laughs> oh, I would love to see it. Okay, so which game's culprit reveal surprised you the most? Oh my gosh, I'm so terrible at remembering those. <laughs> yeah. Um... Let me see. I think I, hmm. There are some that I definitely was not surprised about. So I'm trying to like rule out which ones I was. Maybe Shadow at the Water's Edge. Yeah. That one, yeah, that one was surprising. Yeah, because I feel like for that one, you like the culprit so much. And then it just does a 360. It's mm -hmm. really crazy. Yeah. But they're all such nice, like, they're all good characters, and it's hard to imagine any of them doing it. I know. So it's like, yeah. I know. I'm particularly fond of the culprit from The Haunted Carousel. So. I do I remember that one, but I won't yeah. say anything. I <laughs> yes, I love 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 that culprit so <laughs> tune in on Halloween night to see me stream that and just talk about how much I love that culprit <laughs> oh my word um so what do you hope to see in Nancy Drew 34 oh I'm so excited about it and it's been so fun to see everyone like <coughs> kind of guessing what's going to be in it and yeah. solving all these clues and things. I, yeah, I think the location is going to be awesome. And yeah. I really want to see like castles. <laughs> yeah, I want to see the, like the environment is really important to me and yes. good music too, of course. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I would love that. Mm -hmm. um, you know what I would really like to see? is a coloring page of the courtyard area that they've released of like that um the cathedral mm. i think that would be really fun or I'll have to take a close look at it yeah or that indoor scene from the uh the cafe area where you've got like some there's like some paintings in the background and there's mm -hmm. yeah that would be cool yeah, I did one that's, I think, what you're thinking about, did you but it doesn't have the little coffee shop. <laughs> oh, 
man. Well, I need to go color that then. <laughs> <laughs> Some of the pictures are like, you know how at first they were kind of blurred out and you couldn't really tell what they were. So yeah, they're still in that format because it was way back when they were still hiding those details. Oh, yeah. That's right. Those were like puzzles, weren't they? There have been so many things. That actually is a really good segue into our next question, which is, have you been paying attention and keeping up with all the puzzles that Nancy Drew PC Games has been posting since April? I have been watching from a distance and enjoying people solving it because <laughs> it's a little bit, yeah, I just enjoy watching a little bit more. <laughs> yeah. There's been so much, and there have been a few that, like, I've solved, but there have also been a few that I was like, guys, I was, like, doing something with my toddler, like, I was, like, last night, I was giving my toddler a bath, and I was like, can somebody just, like, tell me what it is? <laughs> Instead of me trying to solve it, that would be great. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's really fun just to, like, watch how excited everybody gets. Yeah. Like, I'm in that group chat, but I don't really, like put in my own opinions. I just kind of yeah. like see what everyone is like, oh, maybe it's this. Oh, maybe it's this. Oh, yeah. I found out this. And it's so fun. <laughs> yeah. Oh my word, I know. Did you see last night when Abby posted those photos of the people and then I was like, oh my gosh, it's the characters in the game. And Abby was like, I know I was about to say that. And I was like, oh my gosh, same brain. That was a really cool moment. I don't know oh. if that's what her interactive was telling us to look at, but I was really proud that like we figured that out. So <laughs> everyone is so impressive. I just can't get over how like fast people get these puzzles. I know. I I think it's the like hive mind of the clue crew. Like like we get together and we're like, oh well, this is what this letter is, and then we're like, oh, well, it has to be this letter. And, you know, like working together really kind of helps it go faster. Mm -hmm. You would love to be in the group chat. Can you join? Yes, little Miss Drew, you absolutely can. Um, I can add you to that tonight, but I can't promise that you'll get added immediately because the uh, girl who admins the chat sometimes is gone for days. So, <laughs> yes. Okay. Well, Maggie can add you because um, Maggie, she tagged me in something and I shared it to my story. So if you want to just like pull from there. Like, that'll be great. Until they show me which one is Hans, I have nothing to say. <laughs> Listen, I think Hans is sus, okay? I don't trust that there is a Hans until they show me a Hans. <laughs> also, hi, Professor Hotchkiss. I saw that you came in, and there will not be any Earth sandwiches today. Just regular <laughs> spilling the tea shenanigans. <laughs> That was awesome. I was so amused. Best idea. It's definitely one of the one of the top moments of spilling tea with Susie, that's for sure. Oh, awesome. Good. There are so many people who are gonna add you. You were gonna solve last night's puzzle, but then you scrolled up and saw the solution. Oh no. Yeah, I just, uh, I gave no cares last night. I was like, I was literally getting, I was in the splash zone at bath time with my toddler. And I was like, just tell me what it is. Cause I can't, I can't have paper right now. So, all right. I think it's time for some FMK. Haha. <laughs> -ha. Let's do it. All right. Let's see who your first person is. I'm so excited. <laughs> okay, so Mary Yazzie. Okay. She's pretty great. Mm -hmm. And then... <laughs> ha! Ha! <laughs> Speaking of ha... And Ryan Kilpatrick. Wow. Yeah. I don't want to fight anybody. <laughs> I know. They're all such great characters. Yeah. Um, let's see. Well, I don't think I could marry Mary. <laughs> I think she's taken. She's a Tex, right? Yeah. They've got a thing. Yeah. I couldn't get in the middle of that. She's taken. Yeah. <sighs> 
but I don't want to fight her either. This is so hard. <laughs> I might just fight her so that I don't like get in the middle of them. <laughs> <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> They're like one of the only healthy couples in the entire game series. So. <laughs> I'll leave them be. I'll just like, you know, little snack and run away. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and then Ryan and Pa, he said? Yes. I think Mary Pa. He seems good marriage material. Yeah, obviously. I mean, he, he was married before. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Now, now you could be Ma. <laughs> Aww. <laughs> Ma number two. <laughs> oh, my word. Uh, so that means you're kissing Ryan. Yeah, I think so. So, <laughs> um... <laughs> So, oh my gosh, Tori. Tori says, Emma. <laughs> <laughs> so good. Okay. Um, Professor Hotchkiss says that she would fight Ryan because Mary Yazzie is too powerful a woman for her. And you know what? That makes sense. <laughs> she could probably take you down. <laughs> Maggie, you can never take him. Oh my word. So good. Yes, fight Pa in a dance battle. <laughs> That's amazing. Yeah, that was a good one. I would so pay to see it. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> so great. So, your next question is, do you play any games besides the Nancy Drew games? I do. Yeah, I, I'm not a gamer, but I like the, like... I played The Sims mm. and Disney Dreamlight Valley. Yes, good stuff. And Animal Crossing, I sort of started playing that a little more recently. Yeah. So all about those like create environments and play with them <laughs> kinds of games. I love those. Yeah, literally some of my favorite games you just named on oh my word. So, okay, <laughs> so I've been asking this for everybody who plays Disney Dreamlight Valley. Who is your favorite villager? Oh, yeah, I remember you asking this of yeah. other people. And I was like, huh, what, what would I say? I think Moana, maybe. Because yeah. like... Or Olaf. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> Olaf is so happy. Like, yeah, Olaf. Because like, whenever I hang out with him, I'm like, oh, you're just so, you're so happy and cheerful, and like, you say cute things. <laughs> I love that. I feel like my favorite is kind of a hot take, but I'm obsessed with Kristoff. I will literally just always hang out with him. I just love hanging out with him. Love him. Aww. Love him. He's pretty great. I know. <laughs> so, I know that's kind of a hot take, though. <laughs> um, what's your favorite thing to do in The Sims? Like, do you like to just, like, build houses each time? Or do you, like, do challenges for yourself? I, I really like, I do like building houses, but I think I... I sometimes get a little frustrated with it because it's like, I just want to make this work, but I can't. No. Um, so I think I like the best thing is the first few hours of playing in a, in a house that I built. Yeah. Because then it's like fresh and new, yes. but I'm like, oh, I worked so hard on that section and it worked. And yeah. 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 But then after a little bit, it's kind of like, okay, let's build a new house. <laughs> I'm the same way. I almost like, so I'm like all or nothing with The Sims. I will play every day for months and then I won't touch it for a year. You know, like it's, it's really kind of sad, but, um, when I do play, it's usually because like a new pack came out that I was really excited about. And then I play so much and I do like everything possible and I like make three more houses, you know, and then like I make two more characters for each house. And um, my my other favorite thing is like I'll, I'll always make more like like girl characters 
to go be strong, independent women and then fall in love with a random guy. <laughs> and I'm like, all right, who's going to be the eligible bachelor this time? <laughs> I love doing that. And then I get bored with them and I start over. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Do you have a favorite pack that came out that you were really excited about? Yes. Um, the island one. I forget what it was called now. But yes. uh, the island, what was it? Sil- Silani? Mm hmm. I love that pack so much. That's always my favorite world to work in. So it's like completely filled in every single save file I have. I just love it. It's Look, beautiful. Yeah. Did you like you can just watch the sunset and like you, just, you don't even have to play. You're just like this is so pretty. It's <laughs> stunning. It's so fun. <sighs> Did you have a favorite pack? I was so excited for the farming. I can't remember what it's called. Cottage oh, living. I think? Yes, that one was so good. <sighs> It was, it so lived up to the hype. Yes. I was so happy. I was like, animals! <laughs> yes! It was so good. I love having chickens. Yeah! It's so and good. cows, and you can dress them up, and they're so cute! <laughs> they're so great. Oh my word. So good. I know. I also loved um, the knitting stuff pack. Oh! So, I like. I was never, I'm never super involved in, like, the Sims online community. But when there was voting for what pack they, like, stuff pack to make at that point, I was all up in those polls and everything because I wanted the knitting one so bad. Because it was, like, it wasn't just, like, knitting stuff. It was, like, crafty stuff, too. And I'm, like, a craft person. So I was, like, all over that. And it happened the way that I wanted it to and I'm so I couldn't believe it I still can't believe it but I also loved that pack because not only did we get knitting and crafts we got metal music for them (laughs) so good wow they fit so so perfectly together don't they (laughs) They well you know you know why they did that because there's apparently a um knitting slash metal like music festival in like sweden i think oh that's so cool so if you um if you have your sim listen to metal while they knit they like knit faster or like learn better <laughs> like their bar goes like all the way up it's really crazy that's so cool. I'm going to get that one now. I don't yeah. have it yet. It's, <laughs> it's so great. Yeah. So I I love that one. Um, and uh, do you ever do mods or do you just like play base game? No, I'm kind of scared of like custom content and mods because I feel like when I was maybe a teenager, I started downloading some of those things and like through completely safe places, but yeah. it's still like messed up the game somehow. Yeah, it really oh, can. <laughs> I don't do a lot of it for sure, but I really wanted to build my workplace in The Sims. So, and they have like two wedding dresses in the whole game. Actually, they released a wedding pack and I haven't bought it yet. <laughs> I I don't know why that's like literally my whole personality but um so I wanted wedding dresses so I got I just that was the first time I ever modded my game was I got custom content for wedding dresses and I built my boutique (laughs) and it's actually in the gallery I believe if anybody wants to see where I work so (laughs) you've broken your game with mods oh my gosh yeah it's really sad when that happens because you like work so hard and then maybe it's lost maybe you can recover it oh my word i know you know what i love about the sims is the music that you can play on their radios and how you can like choose and i love that so much of it is like actual music that's been like simified (laughs) yep (laughs) Simlish. <laughs> yes! There's like an actual 
there's my favorite band is in The Sims. Wow. That's so cool. I was so shocked when he was in there. It was like, that's Andrew McMahon. What is he doing in here? Oh, that's so, so cool. cool. Do you remember when we used to be able to add files to the, I think it was probably Sims 2, and you could listen to whatever music you wanted to on their little radios? Yeah, what a time to be alive. <laughs> <laughs> Can we have that again? <laughs> Seriously. Oh no, you never thought to save save files when you played Sims 2 as a middle schooler and one day the family computer died and it was all gone. Oh, that's awful. That's just terrible. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Also, I see way up in the chat that you're inviting Little Miss Drew to the Discord. And yes, L, please come join us on Discord. Emma, are you in our Discord? I'm not, no. Are you on Discord? No, I actually, I, I feel like an old person. I don't actually know much about it. <laughs> so you know what? That was me like six months ago. And I was like, please don't make me learn a new app. But I did, and I like it, so... Aww. Think of your Sims fondly, oh my gosh. <coughs> it's so funny. You get so close to them, right? You're like, yeah. I care about you, I want to take care of you. <laughs> I know! I've, like, actually made Sims of, like, real people, too, so... Mm -hmm. Like, not yep. only did I make my place of work, I also made my actual house. And my yeah, parents' house. Too. Yep. And my old apartment. And like I just I do it all and so I have I have my little family and like I actually I had to like cheat the game because when my sim got pregnant she had a baby girl and I was like that's wrong. So I had to do all kinds of stuff to turn him into a boy. But now I've got like my whole little family in our little house. <laughs> it's so cute. <laughs> it's so cute. I think I've built like three of my previous houses. Yeah. So I'm there with you. <laughs> yeah, it's really fun. You were never a drown them in the pool type player. Me either. I never <laughs> kill my Sims. The only reason I would is to have a ghost. But oh, yeah. <laughs> I feel so guilty. <laughs> no, but like that's the only way to get it, so <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Unfortunately. I know. I did that for um so my sister, I don't know if you've seen the episode with my sister, or if you saw when I played her game, Murder at Chateau de Rouge, but I built Chateau de Rouge from her game in The Sims, and so I had all the characters from the game, and I also made that house haunted. <laughs> <laughs> Aww. You would reset your game if somebody died horribly in your games. Yeah, I've actually, I think I've probably done that too. Yep. Yeah. Same. I can't handle it. <laughs> I would do it too if like, if like my characters ended up like fighting and breaking up and I didn't want them to. I was like, no, hang on. <laughs> you guys are meant to be, I swear it, I made you <laughs> <laughs> You know what's the worst is when they like, just start, I mean, okay, free will is great, but they start like flirting with some random person. You're like, stop. <laughs> I'm like, I'm, I made you for this person. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And it never makes sense either. It's like yeah. the barista. I'm like, yeah. where did that come from? <laughs> nothing in common, nothing like that. They I just, know. Yeah. Or they want to throw a party, and then, then it's like, who do you want to invite to your party? Select up to eight sims. And I'm like, who are these people? <laughs> I've never met them. They maybe walked by the house, <laughs> and we said, so, so. <laughs> uh, oh my gosh. You would sometimes play the built-in stories, and then one of those sims would die and become a ghost. Oh, interesting. As far as I can tell, Sims 4 Sims are way too flirty. Yes, it's true. <clears throat> there are a lot yep. of locations where Sims can go make out. <laughs> they are very flirty Sims. Oh my gosh. Oh man, we went on such a long Sims tangent. <laughs> but I love it. An hour later, Sims is done. <laughs> <laughs> Literally. 
Where did we even leave off? Oh, that, okay, so we left off at Do You Play Other Games? Um, okay, so a more broad question then. Do you have any hobbies outside of what we know, which is Nancy Drew and coloring pages, that you want to tell us about? Yeah, other than music, too. I feel like I have too many hobbies. Yeah? Well, tell us about them. Yeah, I have, well, lots of crafty things, not yeah. just drawing, but painting, knitting sometimes, yeah. cross-stitch, but I also like things like kayaking or hiking, like some sort of outdoorsy things. Yeah. And... Oh, really? <laughs> Mr. Suzy! <Yeah. laughs> Um, He's been sick too, but, he doesn't have a voice, so he can't say hi, sorry. Oh, that's so sad. I know. Your poor family. <laughs> it's been awful. But anyway, so hiking and kayaking and... Yeah. Yeah, I think like, like the outdoorsy things, there has to be motivation there. It's not yeah. just to like settle in and do it kind of thing, but yeah. I do enjoy them. Yeah, mm -hmm. running. Tennis too sometimes. Ooh, yeah, that's fun. Mm -hmm. Why well, do you have a lot of hobbies? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and then there's like music, and then music is a subcategory of all these instruments. So it's like. <laughs> do you play instruments? I do, yeah. Well, what do you play? Mostly piano, oh. but. Okay, um, I didn't know that. <laughs> yeah, mostly piano. I didn't know that, yeah. Um, I don't really play it regularly, but I, the other ones I don't really play regularly, but yeah. guitar, mandolin, and I've done both of those for videos that I've done recently. Nice. Um, in high school and college, I played like band instruments like flute and mm -hmm. French horn and baritone. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> you just like do it all. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> but I enjoy it. Yeah, that's super great. Wow, I love that. Okay, um, so Maggie redeemed FMK. So all right, we're gonna play some FMK. Hi, <laughs> Mister Color Colorable. I think is what we said. <laughs> Coloring. Mr. Color. <laughs> all right, so Jamila. Oh, Jamila. I like Jamila. Like yeah. And then... We love the instruments, so it's funny. Um, okay, yeah. no. We can't have that character again. We've already had it all, so hold on. I'm giving you another person. Okay, so we have Jamila. <laughs> and who else do we have? <laughs> Judge Danforth. Ugh. <sighs> It's pretty obvious so far. <laughs> <laughs> I can't stand Judge Danforth. No. And Jacques Brunet. Jacques Brunet. Oh. oh my word. This is a good one. This is a good one. Um, Mary Jamila. Mm -hmm. um, oof. Okay, so Jacques and then... Who was the other one? I forget so fast. I forgot too. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. Oh, Judge Danforth. Ju oh, right. No How could I forget? I forget. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah, definitely fight him. <laughs> yeah. I just, yeah, no. Yeah. <laughs> and then we're kissing Jacques. Because yeah, I suppose that works. That man, I see red flags with him. Oh yeah, yeah, I see a lot of red flags with that man actually. Yeah, yeah. I talk about it every time Jock comes up, but the man is one walking red flag. <laughs> <laughs> a character from the games, you wouldn't know him. It's a Nancy Drew thing, you wouldn't understand. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Kiss him goodbye, uh -oh. maybe. Ha <laughs> ha, that's good, Tori. <laughs> that's perfect. So good. All right. Um, oh, what game has your favorite scenery? 
scenery. Mm-hmm. <sighs> oh, that's so hard. Why am I always coming back to the creepy games? I need to stop. <laughs> it's your vibe. Oh, but oh, there's so many. I know, and really... they're all good. <laughs> um. Okay, scenery actually. Ransom of the Seven Ships. Like I just love that little. I don't even know what it is, but it's maybe a tourist center or a resort or oh, something. Yeah, yeah. The uh, what is that called? I built it in The Sims. I should remember this. <laughs> <Hello. laughs> What's that called? Oh my gosh. The uh, I don't remember what it's called. Somebody in the chat will probably remember what it's called. Yeah, What's but it's got it? such a beautiful view, and like, it I does. love how open it is. It's got yeah. windows everywhere. It's gorgeous. <sighs> yeah, It's very specific, but I like that location. <laughs> yeah, no, that's a great location. Somebody tell me what it is in chat, please. I love Maggie said, shock is hot, but problematic. <laughs> <laughs> you would go with C because of the sky views. The lobby? Is that what it was called? I feel like it was called something. Yeah, it started with a D, I think. Like it had like a name and a logo. Dread. Like Dread something maybe. Dread Dread Isle. It was a diving think... center. Or I don't know. <laughs> was it? What is it called, you guys? <laughs> it's going to drive me crazy. Wait, I'll just look, look it up. Hold on. Yeah, it's going to drive me crazy, too. Let's see. Let's see. Because I did a coloring page of inside, but I didn't do the outside, which is, I think there's a sign. Let's see. Um... <laughs> I'm looking up a map. Maybe it's just like Dread Isle Resort or something. Shark Diving Resort. Ah, that was that's so what, off. That's what the, <laughs> that's what the um, thing is called. So I guess it's a resort. Yeah? Yeah. I don't know where any of the other buildings are and how it's a resort if it's just that one little I thing. Know. I know. Like, where do the people stay? <laughs> yeah. Same. But it's really nice. <laughs> it is. It's super nice. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, we figured it out, you guys. So we did it by ourselves. <laughs> oh, yes. I knew Shark was in the title somewhere. What well, you should have said, Tori. <laughs> 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 Could have helped the home girl out. Hmm. All right. So, what are our next questions? Um, if you could go anywhere in the games, where would you go? Probably somewhere that maybe in like another country, like yeah. somewhere that we can't get to easily. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> like France. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, wait. <laughs> <laughs> Japan, I think. Yeah. Ooh. I would love to go there. Would you go to a haunted Ryokan? I would love to. That sounds amazing. Oh my gosh. I can so see you doing that. <laughs> my husband and I talked about like, well, not a haunted Ryukan, but we did talk about like someday when we're able to, it's pretty expensive. So it's like yeah. when we're able to someday, yeah. that would be so nice. But I think like those traditional Ryukans are more out in the country. Mm. So it would be a little bit more complicated but i would yeah. love to go oh yeah that would be so fun yeah my my best friend is planning a trip to japan and i'm like oh my gosh that's so cool oh, i love that mm-hmm. <laughs> maggie would visit but not stay <laughs> <laughs> yeah. that's pretty great all right so then what is the most underrated game in your opinion underrated um Let me see here. I'm sorry for everyone who has to watch me blow my nose. Hmm. And I'm sorry everyone for pausing so you feel (laughs) like you have to say it's okay. It is so hard to like remember all the games when you're on this. You know, I think before I had 
watched your streams and heard so many people say they love this game. I would have said Waverly Academy. Really? Oh. I didn't think it was very well liked at first, but I was wrong. It's literally my second favorite game. Yeah, I, I really love it. like it. It's so it's great. good. Yeah. I think, I think at first I was like, oh my gosh, just drama. Why is there so much drama? But yeah. I really like it now. Oh, I love that game. It's so good. The cozy vibes are mm -hmm. so good. The snow and the cookies and the jello. <laughs> oh, it's so good. Yeah. Yeah. So I think maybe I would say stay tuned for danger, but mm. with the added like well actually i don't know if people don't like it or not but i feel like it doesn't get much attention yeah but. i think a lot of that is probably because a lot of people have not played it mm -hmm. yeah i don't think you can even really get it anymore right you can get it on the her interactive website unless you like are lucky enough to like strike gold and find an actual disc um, you can get it as a digital copy on the Her Interactive website, but it is kind of difficult for people to install. There is a, um, there's a tutorial on their website as well for how to install it, but things have changed and there is a step missing that I, I do know what it is, <laughs> but I don't think everybody else knows or like a lot of people don't know. So I get a lot of um, posts in like my Facebook group being like, um, how do I get this? And I'm like, oh, you just have to go make a folder and like put it in that folder, you know? And it's like really, so it's a really simple step. But um, I think a lot of people get tripped up by like the error code that gets thrown. And then they're like, oh, well, I guess I'm never playing this game. So I know a lot of people who haven't played the game. Yeah. Yeah. My my only issue with that game is there's a huge, like if you do one, if you miss one thing, you just can't move forward and you like have to just restart it. That's yeah. the only thing that I'm like, I like the game. I love the game. Yeah. As long as it's done the right way. <laughs> oh my word, I know, it's so rough. If you don't get that door handle or the screwdriver, Yep. You're screwed. <laughs> like, yeah. literally screwed. There you go. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, don't bite me. Don't bite. I said don't bite me. No. No. Claws out. Oh. He's a biter. <laughs> he blends in. Look, if you don't... He's literally biting me right now. <laughs> if you don't see that he's here, like, if you don't see his face, you can't even tell that he's here. Stop biting me. Okay, you gotta go. Okay, please get your claws. You said it sure. before that when he when he's mischievous, he's really mischievous, and there you go. I'm telling you, screwed by not having the screwdriver. Ironic. Yeah. <laughs> it is pretty ironic. Cat. <laughs> yes. You love Station for Danger and all the red herrings in that game. Yeah. Mm. I like the lobby music. Yeah. Really it's chill. so nice. It, it is. is. All yeah. the music, actually. I really like yeah. the music. It's really good. I know. I really love that game, like, in general. But it's not, like, my favorite. It's probably not even in my top... It's not in my top ten. But I, I love it. Like, it's a great game. I yeah. recommend everybody play it. <laughs> All right. Um. Oh, oh, here's a fun question. So, Dave Gregory or Henry Bollet? <laughs> <sighs> oh boy. Yes, I am making you choose. Yes. Um Henry Bully. Yeah. Mm-hmm. He's much better. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I think so. Oh, that's so hard though. <laughs> I know. I'm such a Henry stan though. So like sorry Dave. Dave doesn't rank <laughs> for me. <laughs> Well, for me, I think if you have to go to where they are, that's also a way to answer it. Like, okay, I'd rather go to where Henry is, to yeah. Louisiana. Yeah. I mean, but, and, and you already married Bruno Ballet earlier, so. There you go. <laughs> yes. I love it. Oh, Little Mystery, you have the original Secrets Can Kill discs, but you can't get it to work on your computer. Um, are the discs 
correct or is there an error? Let us know. Okay. Um, what kind of music do you listen to? Oh, uh, mostly soundtracks, actually. Um, yeah, I think that's most of what I listen to. I don't really, <laughs> it's kind of weird. I'm a musician, but I don't really listen to music that much. Okay. I mean, what, well, what kind of soundtracks do you like? Mm, for, let's see, what is one? Well, actually, yeah, we listened to Over the Garden Wall. That one's wow. so cute. Yes. Um, Lord of the, I mean, like all of the classics, oh. like Lord of the Rings. Yeah. Um, yeah. Oh, sorry. Mr. Coloring is right here and he's <laughs> like helping me to remember. <laughs> Would he like to be on the stream too? No, I'm okay. <laughs> Fine. Aww. Yeah, he was just um, <laughs> boxing. So he's kind of like, oh, I need to Good cool down. You. Man, you go. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> but yeah, so he was saying, um, so there's a show called Hunting of Hill House. It's not for the like people who don't like spooky things because it's very very spooky but it has a great soundtrack yeah um if you listen to it though just beware there is i think one track that like is really loud all of a sudden and we had to just take that out of a playlist because it's kind of scary <laughs> that's so funny yeah oh my gosh <coughs> wait oh oh okay okay gotcha i was like confused with what was going on in the chat um, Tori, don't think I didn't see your comment. Someone's got to save Henry from summer. I volunteer as tribute. <laughs> so good. Um, well, that's really cool. And last question, but certainly oh. not least question. Okay. <laughs> Have you read any good books or watched any good shows or movies lately? Give us your recommendations. Yes. Yeah, I have to think which one would be well i mean we're what we're kind of like watching through star wars right now oh that's fun yeah oh my gosh there's so many things to watch <laughs> yeah. like look on like we have disney plus and you look at how many things like so many things yeah um, <laughs> there's a lot there yeah but otherwise yeah, I think that's most of what we've been watching recently. Yeah. Pretty, st like, pretty traditional, like, classics. Mm -hmm. For sure. <laughs> Super, yeah. good. Super good. What about you, Suzy? Oh, goodness. Um, I have been reading a lot lately. Mm -hmm. um, well, not read. I listen to audiobooks because I don't have time for, like, physical books anymore. But um, thanks, toddler. But um, I have been listening to Jane Eyre by uh, Charlotte Bronte. Right, Charlotte? I like you're Charlotte. <laughs> and um, one of the Bronte sisters. And for my book club. And I have been loving it, which I'm really glad of because when I was a teenager, I was like, I love classics. I love classic literature. Let me just read all the classics. And then I started Jane Eyre. And oh, good. Thank you. I was right. It was Charlotte. <laughs> <laughs> so, um... I started Jane Eyre, and I was like, wow, this is really hard to get through, and I never finished it, but this time around, I'm doing it as an audiobook, so it's a lot easier to get through, and I made it through the absolutely painful time where she was in the uh, school, and now it's so good and i'm like man this book is wild so i have been having a great time yeah that's what i've been doing lately i haven't been watching much at all like i almost never watch movies and because that's just like too much of a commitment <laughs> for me and then um like if i watch something it's usually like one of my friends streams or like like john will watch youtube stuff as well like he's into like car stuff so I'm like watch car stuff or, um, he's watching King of the Hill right now, so sometimes I'll watch some of that, but, like, mm -hmm. TV hasn't been, like, my, my thing as of late. It's been mostly, like, reading. Mm -hmm. 
I see a lot of I people saw... talking about only murders in the building here. Yeah, that is such a good one. Yeah, I didn't realize that there was a third season already because I haven't even finished the first season. <laughs> <laughs> like I said, I think... not as big on TV at the moment. <laughs> I think the third season, like, just finished a few weeks ago. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Yeah, so, yeah, so Elle understands. Audiobooks are the only way you can read now as a mom. Yeah. Like, I literally, like, stuff like reading and watching stuff just really went way down when Liam got a little older, and now he's, like, super busy, so. You're slowly working through Clone Wars? Oh, I loved Clone Wars! Clone Wars was so good. You're guilty of not watching TV and movies. Too many games and books. Yeah, agreed. <laughs> oh, Halloween Town! Oh, the best Halloween movie. The best. I like, love all of these classic uh, Halloween movies, like yeah. Halloween Town, Nightmare Before Christmas. Oh, I'm not into that one. <laughs> that one scares me. <laughs> oh, so I can see that, yeah. Confession. Confession. I know you love spooky things. But, Emma, I am not a spooky person. <laughs> I can't do spooky. I can't do scary. So, I can, I do cozy Halloween. So, mm -hmm. Halloween Town is my vibe. But, oh goodness. A Nightmare Before Christmas scarred me for life. Aww. Because I... I was an adult. I was like 18 years old. And I tried to watch it for the first time and I was with my brother and he like looks over at me and he's and I'm just like, I don't like this. And he's like, do you want to turn it off? And I'm like, yes, please. And ever oh. since that day, I am terrified of stop motion animation. <laughs> oh. I can see that though. Yeah, yeah it is scary. pretty creepy. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's so bad. It's okay though, like yeah. the cozy Halloween things are just amazing too. Yes. And honestly, I like I like spooky things, but I'm such a baby about it too. Like if it actually comes to watching a movie, I'm like, turn the volume way down so I don't get scared. <laughs> yeah, I know. Oh my gosh. So some of my favorites, because I don't do scary things, are obviously I love Halloween Town. Um Casper from the 90s with uh, with Christina Ritchie. Um, Tower of Terror starring uh, Steve Gutenberg and Kristen Dunst. Such an underrated Halloween movie, you guys. I love it. It's so cheesy fun. Um, <laughs> I'm trying to think. I feel like there's others. But like, I'm just all about the cozy spooks. Did you see the Haunted Mansion? Like, there's two of them, an old and a newer one. Did you see either oh, of those? I love the older one, the one with uh, Eddie Murphy. Yeah, I love it too. I love that one. I have not seen the new one. The new one is good. I don't know. It is a little bit spookier, I think. That's what I heard. Yeah, yeah. I heard that. My sister saw it because she's really into Haunted Mansion. So um, mm -hmm. she went and saw it and apparently thought it was great. And she said it was definitely like, scarier than the other one and I was like oh okay <laughs> well like, I don't know how I'm gonna do <laughs> yeah for me I was just like oh, yeah <laughs> maybe it's on YouTube I don't know we'll have to find out I haven't seen it in a long time yeah oh but they're so good mm -hmm. yeah. hmm. all right oh the Muppets Haunted Mansion okay I I have seen the Muppets Haunted Mansion, and everyone needs to watch it. It's good. Yes. It's so adorable and funny. I love it. Oh, so good. <laughs> oh, I loved... Okay, this is probably really niche, but I loved um, the... Oh my gosh, his name is escaping me. But the guy who played the, um, the caretaker with the dog... Shoot, what was his name? Um, he was on Glee, I believe. But um, he was also he was Harry Potter in a Harry Potter musical. And I was like, 
hold up. <laughs> I couldn't believe he was in this. And I loved his whole his whole part. I really loved that. So that was that was like the best part of the movie for me. Also, John Stamos is in it. Yeah. So, as John Stamos. <laughs> Oh. Such a great one. So anybody who hasn't seen it, watch it, please. It's so good. Mm-hmm. Well, we're talking about Hilary Duff now. Wait, what? <laughs> oh, Caster meets Wendy with Hilary Duff. Mm-hmm. I haven't seen Darren Chris. Thank you. Thank you. It's Darren Chris. I like Darren Chris. Thank you. Okay. Anyway, so it's time for FMK. All right. All right, let's play. I'm so excited. <laughs> I never get tired of this game. I hope nobody ever gets tired of this game because it's just so good. It is. All right, so Mason Quinto. Deadly device? Yes. Okay. Our OCD king. Yeah. Speak of the devil. Why did I scroll? Here we go. And finally... We got... Who am I? (laughs) (laughs) Oh, wow. This is a good one. Mm Mm-hmm. I feel like Mason would be easy to fight <laughs> if he's that OCD. You can just like <laughs> distract him. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah. So, yeah, I think I would fight him. Mary Pua, because Pua is amazing. She's and so great. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And she's on the beach all the time. And that just sounds amazing. You would get to surf all the time. Yeah. Yeah. That is the ideal <laughs> life. <laughs> mm-hmm. All yeah, right. so then Dave, I think. Yeah, I feel comfortable with those answers. Yeah, that's a good <laughs> that's a good answer. Yeah. Mandy says she's fighting Pua. <laughs> <laughs> Marrying Mason because they're already married to a researcher. Oh, that's funny. Mm-hmm. Everybody else wants to fight Pua. That's so funny. <laughs> I love it when everybody has such vastly different ideas of how this should go. Yeah. Also, Dave is not getting the attention that I would expect him to being on an FMK wheel. Huh. That's so funny. All right. Well, that is the end of my questions, and we've been on for almost two hours, so (laughs) it's been a while. And, um, so thank you so much for being on my stream, and this has been so much fun. Do you have any parting words for our viewers? I'm just so grateful to have been able to do this. Thank you, Susie. Of course. Thank you so much for coming on. It's been so fun. And thank you for making an amazing spooky coloring page for everyone. (laughs) So good. I'm so excited. Yeah, and now there's, like... I made kind of three, so if anyone cares. <laughs> I know. It was There's... insane. Yeah, Just, but oh. it so, was fun. Yeah, if I, if anybody missed it, go check out her page and the, just watch the video. It's literally one of the coolest things I've ever seen. <laughs> Oh, well, it, it was definitely so felt like a trigger warning was needed at the beginning, though. I'm like, I can't just spring this on people. <laughs> no, seriously, because when I saw it, I was like, wait, what is happening right now? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. So good. So good. Oh, thank you for saying it was a great inv- interview, Tori. Oh, that. that's so sweet. Thank you so much. <laughs> wait, you're not a text girly or a Dave girly. That's so funny. What kind of girly are you, Maggie? Tell us before we leave. <laughs> who Who is your favorite Nancy Drew character to thirst over? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, that's a good question. Who's yours? Oh, yeah, that is a good question. Hmm. 
Maybe just Henry. Yeah. Yeah. I'm trying to think. Yeah, I'm just like looking through the list of <laughs> games and I'm like, I can't think of anyone else, really. I know. Charlie? Oh, yeah. interesting, Maggie. That's a good Ned. Oh, Charlie yeah. and Ned are the same and you know it. Ned. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yep. I feel like yeah. my husband is kind of Ned and so oh. I'm like, Ned. I love that. <laughs> oh my gosh, Tori says, as much as I love Joe, I'm always going gaga over Alec. Yes. And Elle says, Dylan Carter. And yes, because when he asks Nancy to travel the world with him, I'm always like, yes, go! <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh, hello, Morgan. Thank you for stopping by. The accent is good. I know his accent is good. I don't know if I can settle for one, but I am a sunny June girly. So give me the blue hair and the aliens any day. <laughs> All right. <Yeah>. So, <laughs> excuse me. All right. Well, this was a great interview. Thank you so much. Yeah, thank and, you. Um, everybody, be sure to go check out her Instagram and her link tree. I've linked her below. Go check out her coloring stuff. It's so good. And watch out for her upcoming projects. And um, you guys will see me again soon. I'm going to start doing more regular things because I think I am finally getting well. Um, just a little health update. So... It started out with allergies. It turned into tonsillitis. I got a cold, and then it turned into a sinus infection. So here I am. I'm getting over the sinus section infection, I think, because um, I think I'm feeling better. But it might just be the adrenaline from today because I was at work all day, and then I came here. So um, if I'm not better by Monday, I'm going to the doctor and getting more drugs. <laughs> but I think I'm better, so I think I can do all of next week's streams. I mean, I have to. Um, so, yeah. Like, let's go. What do I have coming? I don't even know what I have coming. So let's see what you guys have to look forward to. Um, I know some things are coming up, but I don't remember when they are. Alright, so next week, I am playing a cozy Halloween game where I have a Halloween bakery. And then that's Wednesday. And then Thursday, I know it's not one of my normal streaming nights, but it was a special request because uh, she had to change the day. I will be spilling the tea with Cameron of Rika Cub Designs, and she makes those amazing Nancy Drew pins. And I'm so excited. I have all her pins. Well, not her most recent ones, but like all the other ones. And then Regency Love is coming back. I promise, Maggie. I will be back with Regency Love. And then I am not going to be streaming on Saturday as usual because my son is turning two and I'm throwing him a birthday party. So, but I will be back next week on another random day because Tuesday, Halloween night, I will be streaming The Haunted Carousel with a very special guest. You guys all know this person and love this person and you're going to want to be there, so... We'll see. All right. So thank you all for joining. And thank you. so. Oh, thank you for saying happy birthday to Liam. That's so great. And um, what is going on? You can survive more canceled streams. Oh, thank you. Well, I, I really do miss that game. So I kind of want to play it some more. <laughs> So, all right, thanks everyone for joining, and I will see you next time. Goodbye!